Did you know you could turn your OneDrive into an inbound FTP really easily? Well, you can. Let's show you how to do that. So I like to go to portal.office.com and sign in and then go to OneDrive. Uh, but you may just choose to go to OneDrive.com. And I have OneDrive set to sync these files off my desktop. When I say desktop, off of my computer. Desktop documents, music, pictures, you are, you know, my, my invoicing app and some other bits and pieces. But that doesn't stop me from doing other things like setting up an FTP. So let's go to my desktop, select new folder, and I'm going to call this uh, inbound files. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't make any difference. So there we go. So that's going to be a folder on my desktop. Now in here, I'm going to, just for the sake of argument, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to say uh, client one. Client number one, there we go. And uh, let's go here and I'll create another one called client uh, number two. You can call them anything you want. Actually, I'll, let's do that. So it's just silly, so you get the point. Okay, so it can be anything you want. Now, here's the cool part. I can select the actions and I can select request files. That's a feature that's been around for a while, uh, but most people aren't using it. So you click request files. And what this does is it will send it, well, in theory, it sends an email and uh, will request whatever you say here from that uh, from the recipients. Uh, but uh, I found the email doesn't work very well, so you have to send them the link. So in here, we can just put anything you want. So I'll just put, uh, I would like the Johnson files, please. Let's click next. And uh, here, if I put in an email address, uh, my experience has been that it hasn't got through. But let's put in... Uh, let's put in uh, Calgary Tech, here's one. Now, um, so when I click done, what it does is send a message. So I'll put, uh, hi, John, uh, give me files. Okay, and now I click done, and it will, in theory, send an email. My experience has been that it is not. So I'm gonna click this copy link, and I'll click done here, and you'll see that what happens is the person gets, uh, well, in theory, they get a request and I should receive a notice when somebody uploads file. So my experience has been that it doesn't send the email, so I have to do it manually. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, hi, John, uh, could you please upload, oh my goodness, can't talk, or type, I should say, the Johnson files here. Now, who'd you send that to? I'm going to send it to my Yahoo account. go and I'll just put uh, Johnson files please there we go and I'll click send now uh, I'm just going to go to my Yahoo mail and you can see boom that's the email that I wrote and uh, unfortunately the email from Microsoft that it said it sent didn't seem to come through however the one I sent manually you can see it's right there it works fine so I'm going to copy that link and for the sake of keeping this straight I'm going to open a new session as an in private browse and paste that in. Now you don't have to do this, of course. And in fact, nobody would other than somebody trying to give you a demonstration. So I'm going to sign in as a different person here. You'll see, boom. How is that? I'll click select files and I can upload uh, pretty much anything. So let's go there. I'll upload these two files and I'll put, um, if you don't put your names in, uh, it'll blow up, so it'll just fail. Or I shouldn't say it'll blow up, it'll just fail. So I'll put uh, Johnny uh, John Stone. There we go. And I'll select Upload. And we'll wait a second for those to go. Boom! Now, as you saw here, uh, it's quite nice because the, uh, the person that's uploading the files has no access to even see what's in that folder. So they're completely blind. But I'm not. So now I'll sign back in as me, and when I go to client number one, there are those files. And you can see how easy that was to do, pretty straightforward. All they had to have was the link. Didn't have to log in, didn't have to uh, play around with the credentials, didn't have to do anything. Now, if I need a two-way FTP, so I need people to put files there, and I also need people to download files, and I want them to see what's on it, easy enough to do. Uh, go to your folder, um, you can create new folders if you wish, it's not an issue. Uh, and you can click the three dots for settings and go to share, or you can just click the little share icon here, 
And there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the easiest one is just to click copy link. I'll bring up another in private session so that the two sessions aren't talking to each other. And let's see what I get this time. Now I can see the folder. I can see, right, see what's going on here. Oh, I don't have permission for that. Oh, that's interesting. And that's because, yeah, I didn't give permission to the uh, share, to the uh, desktop. So let's go here. I'll think, well, I'll just go back one level. I'll go back to inbound files. Yeah, no, you can't. You can only see, only see the one you got. So let's go into here and we'll, we'll upload some files. Now I could just drag, yeah, I'll just drag them. There we go. These files are uploaded. Now, if I go back to my session, get over this. If I go back to my session, go to client number two. The files are there. I did have to refresh it, but uh, they are, there they are. Now, once again, I can bring up another in private session, go back to that same link, and there are the files. And here's a guest, con guest contributor. What if you want to have some security on it? Well, not a problem. Let's get over here. Let's go back to uh, my inbound files, and I'll create another folder. I'll call this uh, full FTP, and again, okay, I'm going to put some garbage at the end so that you realize it can be done with anything. I'll select the share folder again, uh, and this time I'm going to change it from anyone with the link to uh, the password. So I'm going to say password is uh, Calgary 2020. So good password? Yeah, I don't think so. I could, and again, I could set uh, I could set an expiration date on this, and uh, click apply. For that now I'm just gonna uh, copy that link and let's see what happens now so again I'll bring up another in private session here it is and now it wants the password Calgary 2020 and there it is again I can drag a file in so let's uh, pull uh, this one in and you can see I had the um, I had a password that was re that was required okay now we're back at my OneDrive root, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to go to email files, just so you get oriented again, so you know where we are. Now, uh, the coolest thing is, because I've set up my OneDrive here, let's go click here and go into settings. Because I've set it to uh, manage my, uh, mirror my desktop documents and pictures, which is the normal setting for OneDrive, that means that everything that I do here, because it's on my desktop, is being synced on my physical desktop. Let's take a look at that. So I'll minimize, and I should have a folder. There it is. I have a folder here called Inbound Files. Let me just move that. There it is. And uh, let me double click on it. And there it is. You can see there are the files. Now, just a note that the little cloud means that these that uh, that uh, this data is stored in the cloud. If I double click on it, so let's open uh, uh, this one. little file here, uh, you see that it is now changed to a green check mark. That means that the file has actually been downloaded from the cloud onto my, uh, onto my machine. That's only relevant, by the way, if you're not online. If you're online, it's all automatic and you don't have to pay attention to it. If, however, you are, uh, say, on a plane and you're trying to get to this stuff, well, it's not going to work if you're disconnected. So. Um, but from now on, this file, as you can see, is green check mark. This file is now on my machine, uh, locally and in the cloud. This one, however, is still just in, in the cloud. You see the two little arrows, it's syncing. Now, I helped somebody with this about six months ago, and they were confused by the whole desktop syncing thing. So I'm going to show you the entire process again, the way most people are going to set it up, uh, but without the complexity of showing how to sync it straight to your desktop like I've done. So let's just go back to your OneDrive. Sign into your OneDrive. You don't have to create a new folder, but I will. I'm going to call this UR Tech Transfers. I'll click Create. There we go. And now I'll click on the Share button. And I could simply click that link. Now at this point, um, if I were to send that link to somebody and they were to click on it, this is where we go. And it would take them right in and they could drag their files in and I will get them. If I want to set a password on it, easy enough. Like the share, change that to a password. I'll call that Calgary 2020 again and apply, copy link. There we go. 
And let's go back to another in private browse, paste. And this time it says, hey, uh, what's your password? Pretty straightforward. Okay, so I, we're gonna wrap it up there. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.